Welcome to What the What, the show about fun facts and a little bit of science. Today, we're talking about spicy foods and what the dang heck is going on in our bodies. Not everyone is into eating spicy foods, but if you're like me, you can't get enough of it. Why exactly is that? And why can some people handle it more than others? It might be because you're a naughty little boy who likes pain. <laughs> what girl? What's going on in my mouth when I eat spicy foods? And why does it feel like I ate literal fire? Capsaicin? But I thought you were gonna say Scoville, because that's what I see on all the hot pepper bottles and stuff that I get for my wings and things. Well, Scoville is a made up word. All words are made up. A Scoville is something that companies use to try to judge just how hot it's gonna be for you. They get this number based on how much capsaicin is in it. And then like a formula based on sugar water or something, I don't know. So what's capsaicin? And capsaicin is a chemical found in food that triggers the same response in our brain that actual heat does. Basically, your brain thinks your mouth is on fire. If our brain thinks that our mouth is actually on fire, why do we like this? Why do we eat it? And why do some people have the ability to handle it better than others? Well, I'll tell you. Some people may be born with less sensitivity thanks to... It's supposed to come up here so I know what I'm supposed to say. Transient receptor potential vanilloid 1, or TRPV1, which we'll look deeper into that in a moment. Now, this lack of sensitivity or increased tolerance will vary from person to person, where they're from, and how much spicy food they like to eat. If you come from a culture that uses a lot of spice, like India, Sri Lanka, Mexico, or China, you're probably able to handle a bit more than others. And some people might actually enjoy the burning sensation. That's why I always say if you're not sweating and miserable when you're eating hot wings, <laughs> you're not doing it right. This is referred to as benign masochism. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> this is why the fourth sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey, titled Fifty Shades of Scoville, where Sheriff Graham takes Don Johnson's daughter out to an all-you-can-eat wing night and then put contacts in each other's eyes. That's the nastiest book out of all of them. TRPV1 that I mentioned earlier is, well, this show is a little bit of science and if we go too deep, it's just gonna make my brain hurt. <laughs> Basically, there are pain receptors in your nerves that activate when they sense burning. The cool thing is there are studies on how this can help with inflammation and things like cancer. So does that mean we should just eat hot peppers whole to prevent cancer? Wait, what? Spicy foods? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. oh, God. Not that bad. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. There are handcuffs. That's awful. <gasps> oh, what? Don't do that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. It's not that bad. It only hurts when you breathe. <laughs> it's never that simple. Those same studies showed that it promoted the growth of cancer. This was all based on the type of cancer and how much TRPV1 was used. Also, it's not just about eating hot pepper, so drop that hot pepper. <laughs> we don't have enough evidence yet, but it's exciting. We don't have enough evidence yet, but it's exciting to see where these studies go. Who knows? Maybe the answer would be to just Rub yourself with some hot red peppers. <laughs> Don't do that, that's never the answer that, well. Also, eating too much capsaicin can actually cause ulcers, and you don't want that. Then there's the dreaded fire poops. Is that what that song, Burning a Ring of Fire, is all about? I like to think so. Bonus info! Spicy foods can help you lose weight. Spicy foods create heat, which causes you to sweat, which burns calories but you probably need to eat a lot of spicy foods altogether because it's not a lot of calories and it only lasts like 30 minutes. People that eat spicy foods use less salt and a lot of salt can lead to high blood pressure. High blood pressure leads to heart attacks, strokes, dementia, and kidney disease. 
Some studies have shown that those that eat spicy foods are a 12 to 14% lower desk rate, rate risk, lower risk of death. So when you combine that with owning a cat, you're obviously that much closer to living forever. And you can watch the video on cats here. Okay, look, so maybe these studies weren't totally sound because they didn't include things like how many calories each person consumed daily, how spicy the food was, and what the actual food was that they were eating with the spice. And the information was self-submitted by the patients, which if you watch my other video here about good proper testing, you'll have a better understanding of all of that. But do know that one of these tests in China had results from over 500,000 people. So take that information for what you will. As always, thanks for watching. And what did you learn today? Do you like spicy foods? How spicy do you like it? <laughs> if not, why don't you like to be miserable and sweaty when you're eating? That literally doesn't make any sense. <laughs> God.